What's up everyone? Um, back at it. It is uh, kind of mid-October, so this is kind of my last chance here in Tennessee before winter hits to hit some bass up in these creeks. Um, I'm in town again. I'm gonna go down um, the smaller end of this creek and uh, I haven't filmed this this part of it, so um, this will be the first time I'm showing this on YouTube. So uh, let's get after some bass. I've caught quite a few smallies down this um, this stretch of the water, so I think it's still, well, I'm gonna climb down this drainage dish behind me and that's how we're gonna get in, so we'll get after it. All right, tune in. Literally just hooked on like the tiniest fish. Something biting. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to wade past all of the areas I haven't caught fish ever to get to what I think is a hole of smallies. Cause I caught like three or four there last time. I'll just keep moving on because I know my ultimate goal is to get to this little ledge. Okay guys, so I just waited about half a mile to get to this, this spot. This whole shoal on the left, I caught like three or four smallies here last time. There's a railroad tracks that go above here. Um, I haven't been past that much, so I'm gonna try and wade, obviously try and fish here with the Bobby Garland. And uh, it looks, it's way clearer than it used to be, and it looks r much more shallow than I thought it was. So we'll see if we can get into them. I don't know if the flow is just down or... There's something. Ah, a little. That's a bait fish. I think I snagged him on the side. Yeah. Yeah. Good guy. I'm sorry, man. I'll get it out of you, I promise. Oh, right in his gill. There he is. The way I typically fish these smaller streams is you got to find that that little deep shoal right up against the bank sometimes, and uh, it's almost winter time. So and the temp has dropped significantly here in Tennessee. So I suspect that they're a little bit slower to react. So you almost have to plop the bait right in front of their face. Oh, got one finally. Okay. Dang, that's a sizable rock bass. Oh, man. Oh, ho, ho. On the Panther Martin, had to swap it up. Weren't feeling the Bobby G, that's all right. There it is. That's a huge rock bass. All right, they're there. Just had to get the right bait in front of them.
That one. Yeah. Nice. Ah. Spotted. Hey, yo. Spotted bass. Spotted. Nice. Look at that. I don't have much left on my battery, but uh, we'll keep going. Thought one would be there. Maybe there's two. Yep. 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 Had a feeling. I got a feeling. Rock bass. Don't get me, please. Don't get me. Rock bass. Look at that. Two out of the same hole. Is it? You guys, I just spooked a huge smallmouth. Stepped right in the hole where he was standing. at least 12 incher. All right, I'm fishing this hole that I thought there were smallmouth in from the back now. I don't know, I see a lot of fish action, but I think they're all bait fish. And we will see. Got one. Got one. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh. That was a smallie. Okay, so they're in there. Just flew off. 